Hello. Hello. Welcome to I'm H.O. I'm Meatball Tea Queen, and the T stands for the skinny one does all the talking for everybody. Isn't and I one? do. <laughs> and I'm Darby, the skinny one. Thank Ooh, you so much, I thought I was the skinny one. Thank, did you see? Now you No, were, I saw you get in the you're argument. Actually, thank you. Not an argument. Okay. What so, a statement. We were on Sloppy Seconds this week. Thanks for having us. No problem. Thank that you for coming. Fun. Well, I said us, but really it was just me and Meatball <laughs> talking while <laughs> Dipper and Alexis were quiet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I sorry felt bad. That. No, I That's was literally like Dipper jump in at any point and then we would just cut him off. And I want it on record. I didn't interrupt Alexis more than three or four times. No. And I, when I did, I would constantly stop. And say sorry. Yeah. But the editors must have cut that yeah, out. Yeah, that the was the editors left cut out. that out. You know, and sure. Did she only attempt to talk three or four times? Of course. <laughs> but it's a new environment. She gets nervous. She's been there before. Alone. But we're big personalities. Mm. Small bodies. Tiny. Big personalities. So anyway, I do look small on this green screen. You really Can you do, just unfortunately. Get rid of these little bumps? No, that's not green. So we were on Sloppy Seconds, and one of the comments was like, the skinny one does the talking for everybody. Mm. So I posted that on Twitter, and people laughed, because it's true. It's very funny. Because I said, oh, he called me skinny. So then on a video on Instagram that they posted, somebody commented that exact same comment mm -hmm. as like a wink, wink, I saw it. So then someone responded to that comment, skinny people are annoying like that, so are you. And so I thought, in my mind, okay? I thought they were coming to my defense. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that is so nice, but they're gonna be so embarrassed when they find out that it's a joke. Yeah. So I said, oh no, baby. And I kid you not, I was emojiing. You know, I was doing all the like winky face, like trying to make it light. I was like, oh my God, we're laughing together. It was something that I said on Twitter, but thank you so much for coming to my defense. And they responded, nobody cares. <laughs> So but I love your said, response to that. I said, LOL, this took a turn. And then they responded. Wait, I have to read it. You word gotta for read word. it, because they it were is like bat shit. I was dying this morning. I showed it to my boyfriend. He's like, I need a backstory. Again, this is the person that I thought was coming to my defense. They respond to me saying this took a turn with, don't know why I can't be rude on the internet anymore without someone sharing a little anecdote. <laughs> I would die for that person. I need to know more. And unfortunately, they're not following me and they're private. I'm just worried that they're going to be scared to accept my follow request because... Because it seems like a threat? Well, no, I'm going to I'm gonna tell them more anecdotes. Little ones. Every and morning, no. you wake up, you go straight to them. I'm I like, comment, I got a fun story. I comment on every single post with like a little tiny story. <laughs> and you know, that's on me. I should not have given them my little anecdote. I just think that that's like the internet now. Is everyone just wants to be mean again. Okay. Remember I when we were against bullying? but now it's cool again. I want it on record. I've never been against bullying. It made me the okay. person I am today. Exactly. And look at us. Very well-adjusted adults. We make shows on the internet so people will like us. And they still don't. No, they don't. They hate it. They don't. I think for the most part, people get our characters, but I do enjoy the comments on the Sloppy Seconds video where people are like, Darby and Meatball need to shut the fuck up. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. A fair. Listen, Fair. me and my therapist go through that all the time. It's not gonna happen. Do you like your therapist? I am coming yes. around to them. How long have you been? It's been about two months, okay. and we've been doing two sessions a week. Oh. I'm not well. I think it was, it started because I stopped drinking when I was dying. Mm. I stopped drinking and smoking and all of the fun stuff, and I think that made me spiral. It's, I can't raw dog life. I just can't. Oh, I can't. That's why yeah. I went out drinking last night. I'm back on the sauce. Like, I have two whiskeys every night. I don't know who you are without it. Honestly, I don't know either. And when I try to do stuff sober, I'm like, am I funny? Am I alive? Well, I only know I'm alive when I'm sober because I'm anxious. Mm. But I can tell you what I don't miss about being a binge drinker is the anxiety I felt the next day. The anxiety. What is I, that? Because I know I do insane things, okay? Alexis is calling. Oh, she wants to make sure everything's what okay. What the fuck? What, bitch? <gasps> I can't believe you would ever talk to me like you know that gets me hard. Ah! Alexis! <laughs> Alexis! You can't say that. This is a Christian podcast. What are you doing? Are you okay? What the fuck are you doing? Who are you with? We're filming. It's me, Meatball. P. Bevels. Oh my god, hi. 
Hi, Diva. I thought you were filming last night. Oh, no, I was drinking, so she I She was couldn't. drinking, and I did gummy, and I ate a box of cookies. Do you want to tell everybody why you're gone? Do you have your story ready? Yeah, um, I'm heartbroken, and I've been crying, but I think I'm allergic to my tears. <laughs> oh, that's oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was prompting you to lie. I didn't know that you, you were wanted... really going to give it. But honestly, you being allergic to your own tears. That's it, perfect. That's pretty I kind. Really, I should send you all a picture. My face is so red and like You need a, hurt. an eye oil. Yeah, you need to put a lot of oil on your face. Olive oil, vegetable oil. Don't wash oil. it off. Don't wash it off. Leave it, it on off. there. Yeah. Nico, thank you so much for filling in for me. If oh, no problem. Tips, if you want any tips or any like... Bits. Darby really loves my bit. Uh-oh, I'm going through a tunnel. I can't hear you. Uh, 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 uh. I don't... Listen, oh. if we let it keep going, she oh. would have done a bit. Because she loves a bit. She, she I could feel it bit. rearing up. You know my favorite thing about Alexis P. Bevels? Don't tell her I said this. Her bits are great, mm -hmm. right? But sometimes she gets lost in her own bit, <laughs> which is my favorite because then when it occurs to her that she doesn't know where else to take it, she does this. <laughs> and she, <laughs> she makes... <laughs> Desperate eye contact and like a deep like. That's me. I had to do I improv like the scream. other night. Yeah, I get louder and louder. I had to do improv the no, other night. No, you didn't. I know. Where? And it was for No Autographs, Please. It's a podcast yes. with Arden Marine and Brian Safi. I love Safi. Brian Safi. I had a wonderful time. We're literally not ever going to talk about Dragon. I had to do improv and I was like, oh, I didn't realize that like I'm in the scene. Like they kept referring to me and turning to me mm. and I thought I was just like the waiter. A couple times they would say something and I would... The melons are over here. <laughs> like, I literally just jumped into, like, horror and then just pointed at something and was like, over here are my shelves. Like, just trying to build Have a world. Have you done improv before? I did improv one, like, five or six years ago. It's really paid off for you. My best friend in Chicago, Michael. Hi, Michael. He tried improv because he's naturally funny. Mm -hmm. Being naturally funny doesn't Does not work in improv. improv. So I went to his first improv show. This is what he did for every single scene. And he's from Wisconsin. And when he gets nervous, it seems like his Wisconsin accent gets nuts. <laughs> so like, they're doing a scene and they're in like a movie theater. They pull the chairs, you know, and they're like, I love this movie. And then like, they kind of turn to Michael waiting for him to chime in. And Michael's going, Ooh. I don't know, guys. Ooh. I'm, uh, I'm worried. Every scene. No matter what they were doing, if they were in a kitchen, Ooh. <laughs> that was me! I was just pointing at things in the room. I was like, well, maybe if I create something. And at one point, Brian looked at me and goes, where are we? <laughs> My basement! That's the meatball experience. It though. truly is. It's I never chaos. really know what's going on. It's the chaos. I used to show up to things and be like, uh, to podcasts specifically, and be like, don't tell me anything about it. I just kind of like, just showing up and finding out while yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah. it. And I had to stop doing that because I listened to myself on so many podcasts being like, what are you talking about? And they're like, well, this segment, we're doing this. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm a mess. So anyway, what are we doing here? So this is IMHO. It's a show where we talk about shows for about five to ten seconds. Is that Shoshana Bean? Yes, it is. Okay. I have a cardboard cutout of Danny DeVito I'm, and Shoshana be watching. Bean. Have you ever met her? No. Have you? Bitch. Yes. I was a runner-up in one of her online contests years ago. And then I went to see her in Beaches the Musical. Mm -hmm. In Chicago. I, like, put it in my story. And she was like, oh, my God. Let's meet after. And I was like... Okay, Shoshana Bean. So she came out the stage door after with a bottle of whiskey. And she's like, I drink between shows like to keep my voice warm. She's like, do you want some? And I was like, do I want to drink Shoshana Bean's whiskey in a parking lot in Absolutely. Downers Grove? Absolutely. She's so nice. Is she? Okay, yeah. And she's beautiful. like friends with Willow. I believe that. Yeah. I buy that. Didn't you also almost meet the ladies from My Favorite Murder, but then you didn't answer your Instagram it messages? one of... I have a story about that. It's one of my biggest, deepest regrets. And now they say Pickle's their favorite drag queen. That's what I was gonna say! Did you hear that? I listened to it and I loved it. I was so excited for Pickle, don't get me wrong. But I'm but a Leo. But you jealous. But I'm a Leo. Alexis and I did a My Favorite Murder show in Milwaukee. And we dressed up as them. It was the same night that they were gonna be in Milwaukee. And we ended up messaging back and forth with Georgia's husband. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna see if we can make it. We hope we can make it. And then I left my phone in the basement. As you do. Because you're at a gig. You're at a gig. Who's walking around holding their phone at the gig? Exactly. They knew where it was, but they didn't want to come in through the front door. Of because course. obviously. Stars. And so I They're keep like getting us. these texts that are like, hey, where can we come in? We're here. Where can we come in? And I didn't see them, and they left. 
That's always tough. I hold it. But silver lining, when they were on CBS This Morning with Gail King, they used a bunch of pictures of people like who were fans, and there was a picture of me and Alexis dressed oh, up as perfect. them. And then Gail King said, so people dress up like you? That's weird. Gail, Gail King, King! Call me weird. And now she's got a show. Anyway, who cares? Yeah, Gail fuck King. Gail King. Fuck Gail oh, King. Dracula. Bop, 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 da. Now, were you on it? I was on season one many moons ago, almost eight, nine years ago. Was it really? Yeah. Do you think that that's what caused you to spread like a disease through the world? Absolutely. I Do you think, think it helped? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. It was a great way for me to like get introduced to more people. And fart. And fart. I was asked to be on it because that's the whole first season was just like LA girls mm, that were like mm -hmm. coming up. But Vander? I had. Vander? Vander was an LA girl, but I had never heard of her or met her or done anything with her. her. She used to perform pop songs. And then. Vander? On on? Yes. It's crazy. She used to perform at Redline all the time. And I think I maybe met her one time. But I won the Dragula bar competition twice. So then they asked me to be on the show. Oh, because you farted. I farted. One time they poured a bucket of water on me and it was filled with dead fish. And then I had to like jump on a trampoline with the dead fish. And I like put it in my mouth and like took a bite out of it and spat it at the audience. You jumped on a trampoline? And it didn't break. I was dead. Were you so tired? I was so tired. Oh, no, no, I know. So I didn't watch season one. I gotta admit, I was very busy that year. Mm -hmm. you know, I, we all were. I lost my kids. And it was a fire. It's not a big deal. Okay. They're at peace. But this week, for whatever reason, on my, I'm a YouTube girly. I have a show on YouTube. I don't know if you've heard. I got recommended y'all's reunion on Hey Queen. Oh, God. And so I just played a few minutes of it because I was like, oh, you know what? I've never watched anything from season one. I was one. so drunk. You were hilarious I looking. I was so Sorry. drunk looking. Yeah, and you had a walker. Was that after you broke your hip? I had broken my hip. And they were like, everyone's got to be there. And so when I broke my hip, they cut my costume off of me and they cut through the hip pad. So I only had one hip pad. Oh no. So I had to do the whole thing with towels shoved up my side so that I could figure out the shape. And you know what? I saw it. You saw the vision of saw, my like leopard print yeah, dumb outfit? I saw the vision. I didn't see the towel. The hair was beautiful though. I like that hair. It was big. It was huge. Yeah. This is smaller than I would like. But I'm in smaller wigs now. I'm wearing my Lee because you are the reason I own Lee's. Lee in Spanish? Wigs. Well, that's a Lee in what? Golden blonde? Golden rod? I can't do Spanish brown because I'm not Spanish. Mm. Although I have been to Barcelona. Barcelona. Let's talk about this fucking show. Dun, 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 regular. Cunt, whore, filth, cunt. Did All you right. see the TikTok where someone said the big one sounds like a chair being pulled across the floor? <laughs> no. Okay. Do you know that they don't like being called big and little one? Really? Yeah, but it's a perfect description. I would love the ease of the brand. I think they're so smart with their branding. I think that is a missed opportunity. I think that this season in particular, they're having more fun. And they're like, you're seeing a little bit more of their personality. I'm loving it. I told Alexis last week when they were talking about how their armpits were hurting. Oh, yeah, pinching. I love that they talked about that. Yeah. Because like, imagine on Drag Race, if RuPaul's armpit hurt, she'd burn it to the ground. Yeah. Oh, everyone would be dead. 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 And rightfully so. Okay, so we returned. Neo actually survives and she comes in the workroom wearing a dress very similar to this. Yes! Very spooky. similar. Is to this a Neo this. original? Yes. What is this from? Akira. Who is that? It's long table room. They're standing around the long table and we find out, guess what? Everyone still hates JK. What was that about? It was so annoying. Now, I get that this was filmed a long time ago. And so they didn't realize, I don't think, that JK would be so popular with no. the fandom. Even not realizing how popular they would be. Hating them this much? It doesn't make any sense to What me. do you think of this? This whole season JK arc? It feels as though they wanted everyone to make JK the villain, but unfortunately they're not showing us JK doing anything that bad. It's making them the villain. It's making everyone else the villain. And unfortunately, I was on team, I know we're gonna get to it, but it, I really did not like the way Throb was talking to JK at mm -hmm. all. And I don't like the way they're all attacking her, or him, them. Sure. It? Let's just go they. I, I, think I do they, they them, it's just like Let's a, just stay them for everyone. For fair. I just don't like the way everyone's treating them. No, and you know what? I was very much on Throb Zombie's side at the beginning. Me too. Of, like, episodes ago. Because they really seem to want to help JK. Again, like you said, we're not seeing the stuff that they're like, you need to stop being so awful, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't seeing any of that, but I did feel like it was coming from a really nice place. Mm -hmm. So I was really shocked that this episode, they're like, yeah, I still hate you. 
They all did that. Even Orgotic, who was like, well, we Orgotic, got along Orgotic for the thing. super hates JK. And what did JK do? It, it's super weird, but it's also kind of funny. When Orgotic said something, and then JK's like, you're not gonna say that. And he goes, I just did. I just did. <laughs> that was funny. That was, that was funny. funny. But yeah. Orgotic constantly does those little jokes. But I don't know if they know that it's a joke. <laughs> But it makes me laugh. But it makes me laugh. But it makes me laugh. So we find out it's space sex work. Space, space. S sexy space work. Sexy space work. I did like that they were like being like sex work is real and people do it and like let's draw attention to it. But I didn't like that they were like, let's take it to space. <laughs> Listen, we're... And they kept on talking about their transgender, cinder, what do they call it? Transmitter. Transsexual. Didn't they trans... Transylvania. But they kept on describing that object. They were like, we're gonna use our trans sender Oh, yeah, message. yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to write it down, but I couldn't I figure couldn't out what it. the word was, so I just moved on. No, I, I really did appreciate them saying, like, sex work is work. That was nice, but I agree. If you're gonna do sex work, you want to do it in a place where there's oxygen available. Yeah. Doing it in space... It doesn't make any sense. You'll die. Also, how could you get paid enough to even get up there in the first place? To yeah, make it worth Jeff it? Jeff Bezos? Come on. Get on SpaceX, what yeah. did he call it? Well, that's Elon Musk. Oh. Jeff Bezos, he actually... Did he go to space? He's not a good person. He's a great body. Rock and bod, squinty eye. He looks meaty, and I want to kind of grab at He's it. like He looks like a meaty little teapot. Meaty little teapot. Yeah. Short and stout. With enough money to literally save the world. <laughs> anyway. And he won't. <laughs> I love prime deals. Oh, but I forgot. I didn't like the going around the table saying who needs to go home and why. And then the fake orgasms. It was all just so produced. You know, we've said this all season. The long table room stuff is so long. Mm -hmm. And I get it. They watch our show. They love that we've called it the long table rooms. They're trying to give us what we said. And thank you for being patrons. But it's so contrived. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather watch them work on their costumes longer. Yes, or I want to see more of the costume the creation, even though I know that's all fake, too. But I don't mind a fake costume. Yeah. Because at least I have something to look at. And what kills me is they talk forever. They go get the video message. They come back and they talk, talk again. Some more! Uh, oh, at well. least bring in a game or something. A mini challenge. Yeah, a mini challenge or something. They off. used to do those. I would watch them all jerk it. It's a very attractive cast. They're also hot. Yeah. Can I tell you my deepest, darkest obsession with this cast? Mm -hmm. Cynthia Dahl. She's she my absolute favorite. She feeds me in a way that I don't know ever been done before. I think it's very funny that I can't tell if she is not self-aware or if she is so self-aware that she's able to pretend. She's turned it on its head. She, yeah, she's like flipped it around. She's like, I don't sound like that! And it's like, mm, yeah. I completely agree. Last week, she was trying to confront JK in the long table room for no reason, and she kind of lost the plot <laughs> she did. to the point that Orgotic just put their arm around her. Like, it's not worth it, boo. But then this episode, she seemed to be fully aware. I don't know. I think she's an enigma, and I'm obsessed. Wrapped in a riddle. Wrapped in a riddle, baby. <gasps> You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Mm hmm. Have you ever seen that musical? Yeah. My best friend growing up played Sally Brown and she was nominated for a Memphis Theater Award. Mm. She was in high school. But this woman who had been an actor in Memphis for 20 years, she was this big name, she died. And she was also nominated. So, so we were dead. like, I'm so sorry, Betsy. Like, you're not gonna win this, but like, how exciting. She did win it. But because this woman was like such a staple in the community, everyone was just pissed because this like little high school girl got up there and was like, thank you so much. Well, the lady's dead. It was just like, it was a different time. It was 2001. Okay, we just lost the towers. Oh. And then we lost that actor. We had awards like that. They were called the Tommy Toon Awards. Tommy Toon? I love Tommy Toon. Yeah, he's from Houston. So we'd all get together and like, That's the fun. high schools would perform one number in front of each other, but like on a big Broadway stage. Like the Jimmy stage. Awards. Sure. Do you know what those are? No. They're the like big high school theater awards. This is where Renee Rapp was discovered. Boom. Oh. Um, the guy that was in No Hard Feelings, the Ratatouille musical guy. What's his name? Andrew Berth Feldman. Ratatouille musical. Do you remember during pandemic, TikTok did a Ratatouille musical? I don't think I was on that side of TikTok. Okay. Let's start with the Boulet's looks. I love this. I loved it. They looked great. The shoulders are incredible. They've been really slaying it this whole season, except for the, the hotel white. and the white green. What hat. do you think it was? According to the internet, it was just art. And sometimes art is just art. You know, sometimes art- It looked like a soap dish. Is objective, okay? And you And those were objectively it. bad. And I love how vocal they were about it on the show. They just seem to hate it so much. That's real. That's real. That's drag, Malma. And then the guest judge, David Dismal. David Dismal. Do you know him? I do not know him personally, but I've seen him out a lot. He enjoys the dolls. Curtis, my husband, I don't know if you know, I'm married. The director? 
<laughs> yeah, you know him. <laughs> he is wearing a beret when he set up the camera. It was a whole Oh, thing. sorry, I thought that was on. No, it's funny though. Okay. It's funny, and thank you for, for doing that. Curtis's first movie, he starred in with David. Really? It was David Dismalchian, Kevin Pollock, and Curtis. It was called Teacher. That's huge! Yeah, it was called Teacher. Basically, like, Curtis is this bully kid in high school, and David Dismalchian's his teacher, and he was also bullied. And Kevin Pollock is the rich dad. He's Curtis's, like, mm. rich dad. And then David Dismalchian kind of goes insane, because he hates Curtis so much. So he, like, kidnaps him with a gun. Yeah, anyway. I, I don't love want to that. I'll, I want to kidnap Curtis. My boyfriend wouldn't do any of this shit for me. I loved when he was like crying in the woods and David Smelchin's like pointing a gun at him. I was like, I can see I that love. for us. Well, I just like I love seeing, love. I like seeing the future. <laughs> what it can bring, okay? I'm not saying that David Smelchin is going to actually kill him, but it'd be kind of funny if he did. Did you know David Smelchin has a. Um, what are they called when you get buried? buried? Caskets. Yeah. He has custom caskets. You can buy a casket from him. I, Isn't that creepy? And you know what I buy that? I don't. He's like weird like that. He's so fucking nice. When Curtis and I flew out to LA for the little premiere, you know, small scale, but little premiere, he was just so fucking sweet. And he brought Steve Agee. Steve. Oh, Steve Agee. Yeah. I love him. Loved him. He's so nice. He made me laugh. They were both just so, so sweet. Funny. But I guess David works with this theater company here. They put on like little shows with only actors and performers with disabilities. There was one literally down the street a few months ago and Curtis and I were like, well, let's go. It was amazing. It was so fun. And it was David up there with them, like acting out with them, helping them do choreography. Oh my God. I was, love when people give back oh, and they're like so quiet horny. about it. I was so horny. I gotta say. Just seeing like, He was hot with the dark. I'm usually not into guys with makeup, but I was hot. just like I like a thin, frail, tall. I like myself. Yeah. I like myself. I yeah, I mean I'd fuck myself. Someone has to. Let's get into these looks, mama. So up first, according to Instagram, Cynthia Doll. I agreed that the pants were not it. I did like the cell phone and like the high centers and doing that, but I think they all kind of lost the plot on like what an alien should look like. The last time this challenge was done super well was when Bitch Puddin' was the waitress alien. Yes. And she was fully green, but it was her actual body and the costume was silver. It was like a cunty take on it. And I feel like these are all like lesser versions Muppets. of that. Yeah. Habits. Let's pull up JK's look too while we're talking about her. It was the exact same look. I want to do, yeah. JK's look was green with a bunch of mouths all over the body with, I agree, a shitty t shirt and shorts, just like Cynthia. Like the shorts could have been rhinestone, they could have been silver, yes. they could have had little, you know, like Jetsons inspired things with like the rings or something. My thing cool. is like, you went ahead and you put mouths all over you. I loved the mouths and I loved the makeup. Like you did so much. Why, why give why up there? It up? But I gotta say, if I'm comparing the two, as much as I love Cynthia Doll, I think JK did more. Uh, JK's was better in my opinion. I and I don't understand why Cynthia better. was safe. safe when JK also gave a very funny line reading. Not even in the bottom, she was safe. It Blew my mind. Sense Blew my me. mind. It doesn't make sense to me. And I love her. And I loved the kind of concept. I like the big lips. But the wearing like a fleece blanket bodysuit and then wearing the exact same thing that JK got red for, it didn't make sense to it me. It didn't make sense at all. They are in the exact same outfit. Exact same outfit. Down to the toes. Well, she's wearing dinosaur toes that don't make any sense to me. But the JK, look at, look at JK's toes. Oh my God. They're hanging through the boots. They're like little dangles. I feel like everyone thought that this was gonna be a different challenge or like a smaller challenge. I don't wanna assume, but I will. I have to assume that none of them have been to space before. And I have to assume that none of them have purchased a sex worker before because none of the ones I've ever given my money to have shown up in booty shorts and a crop top. I hired a sexy massage sex worker. Recently? No, 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 for my 25th birthday. Okay, slice, 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 slice. He did ask me in the in the chat he was like, when you answer the door, I'm usually dressed and like I'm holding my massage table, but I do offer, like I can be standing at your door naked, like with the thing if you want. And I was like, well, I have roommates, so like, please don't do that. <laughs> but also, please do that. Please do that! Uh, it was great. And he didn't charge me extra for the full service. Cause he goes, usually the only people who hire me are like old dudes and you're like a cute little twink. So I won't charge you for the extra. That's what stuff. they would say to me too. They're nice? like, usually the people that hire me are like ugly and old men. When I open the door, they're like shocked that I'm young. Yeah. He literally went, oh, and I was like, okay. Do you want to put it in my butt? 
He didn't. I had one that I hired and he opted to come dressed as Superman. I just out of nowhere? On his own. He was like, I offer this. I can dress up as a superhero if you would like. I wear the Superman suit. And he sent me a bunch of videos in the Superman thing. And I was at the point where I was just like, yeah, I mean, I don't fucking care, dude. Show up dressed like Superman as long as it's not extra. He shows up like Superman. He comes into the room, takes off his trench coat, because we were in Philly and it was cold. Nice. He, he comes into my hotel room, takes off his trench coat, and he was like, do you mind if I pretend to fly in? And I was like... What? And he went over to the window and opened it, and he was like, cover your eyes. And then I cover, I was like waiting, he was like, okay, you can look. And he goes, in place, he jumps and goes, huh, I made it. And that was his entrance. I would have come instantly. I almost did. He fucking, it was hot. He wore the Superman outfit the whole time. He had like briefs that he could pull off and it was like out. And then I had to pretend like I was holding kryptonite and he was like, oh, oh God, the kryptonite. And I was like, ah, ah, I'm Lex Luthor, I got you. I really went in. Are it was making, really, no, this is 100% up? real. I've told this story so many times, but it's my favorite sex worker. You story. know what's so like, what's hot about that is not that situation. It is the dedication to the bit. Mm -hmm. it, he he was fully in, and that will always make me hard. And it was making him so hard to play along that it made it fun for me. But I even think, like, at the end of it, I don't even know you if he, like, charged you were Lex me. Luther. I did. I was like, shave me bald, baby. Oh my God. That is, I want to hire him. Where Go is he? Go to Philly. Now? I don't know. That's where Curtis's family is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what we'll do for our anniversary. I've always wanted to hire one of those tantric sex sex workers where they're like... Do you think that you... I understand that, but do you think you have ADHD? Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you yeah. think that you'd be able to stay focused the whole time? Well, I think that's part of the, the practice is that you have to, like, constantly be, like, meditating and trying to stay in the moment. That sounds like so much work. You just want to get railed and over with? I just want to... I'll tell you what I miss, okay? I'm not... Little current. dicks? I'm... Love them. When I miss them. I love when they're oh, so hard. They're rock hard they're and they're like three so and a half hard. inches. They've got plenty of blood to go around. But also, like, when I was an active sex addict, I haven't been for years. But yes, it was destructive to me and my life. Mm. However, I was able to completely turn my brain off and just go completely animal style. Like, full on Ooh. Thousand Island dressing on french fries. Whereas, like, now, I'm just fully conscious Const and aware yeah. of what's happening. And I giggle. I'm a sex giggler. Oh, I forgot to put my nails on. Honestly, I didn't expect you to have nails on. I brought them. Alexis, I really came Alexis to turn it out. never wears nails. This is my alien outfit. And I want y'all to know, this is like early in the day. Yeah. We went early. We, we got started at Thank 9 a.m. It's okay. That. I have a meeting in Koreatown at 1. We're not anywhere near Koreatown. I know. I'm going to take my makeup off downstairs. Also, I have a load of laundry going right now, so God I'm going to need that damn. to dry before I can leave. Are the clothes that you put in there as soiled as Alexis's have been? I did shit myself on the way here, so... Maybe? More than once? Just the once. Oh, Alexis got you beat. Loose stool. L uh, great track name. Oh, great track name. Uh, Why has no one done that? We should tell someone. Okay. Speaking uh, of bearded queens. Blackberry. This was so fucking My cool. Houston diva. Did you know that Blackberry is my mom's favorite drag queen? That sucks. I know. Anytime I'm in town, she's like, text Blackberry, see what's up. That's so sweet. I know. So we, we, anytime we're in town, I have so many photos of my mom and my dad with Blackberry. We went to her Hamburger Mary show. She put me in a show once at the Improv. I love I her. I love Blackberry. All Chicago people love Blackberry because she's one of the few Houston girls that she came a lot. She was mm -hmm. always in Chicago. So I was automatically on board. I love this outfit. I love her drag so much because it is so polished and beautiful, which is something they said. Might... Why are they using that against her? Well, because Dragula, I do think, like, gross. I do want there to be some sort of gross. Well, maybe that's, maybe just those challenges haven't come up yet. But anyway, she looks 100% perfect. If you go to her Instagram, you can see all the inspiration, but it's like Beyonce, like, it's just. I think if she were to ever do the other one, I think she'd win it. No, I heard that they can't do the other one. Why? Oh, cause uh, of Dragula? Yeah. If you do one drag competition show, you can't do the other one, apparently. Well, I think and she And that can. includes, you know, there's like four or five other ones. No, there's not. What's the other well, one? Camp One Kiki. That's barely a show. If Alexis Bevels can win it. On roller skates. <laughs> then we had Fantasia. Now I have a huge issue here. They said that this was not alien sex worker. Then what is then it? Then what then is Then what the it? fuck is it? Tell me what that's supposed to be. They called it a gnome. What is an, a gnome but uh, an but, alien of our own planet? Thank you, a hard alien that doesn't move. Exactly. This was- I didn't like that they kept calling it Cirque. Because I know that if she was at a circus wearing that, it wouldn't stay on. Those pasties would pop right off. Oh, absolutely. And she's not, what is she going to do? A cartwheel for art? No. This Can't is she a, do a cartwheel? This is an, a, 
not safely. This is an alien sex worker, and mm -hmm. I just didn't understand it. And the other thing that made me upset about it, sorry. She was in the bottom instead of Cynthia. That didn't make sense to me. And you know I would die for Cynthia doll. Me too. But this look was not it. There's the door, bitch! And if you're putting JK in the bottom for that look, and she's wearing the exact same look, put them both in the bottom. Put them both in the bottom. But I liked, I liked it. I liked Did I know exactly where you, to buy that fabric? Absolutely. Did I know how it was made? Completely. But I still loved it. That fabric drives me nuts. There's a girl that I'm obsessed with. Are you watching Canada? Mm -hmm. Don't protect your piece. Mm. But she's- You touched me and I like she's shivered. She's 57. Her name's Kitten. She's an incredible drag queen. But all of her clothes are this fabric and it drives me That's that thing. But, okay, but remember, I feel like what happens with drag is it gets secular. Like when you first start, you only want to wear one color and do this thing and this thing and this thing. What and then you get what? what was your first color? Red, red and orange. Mine was nude. I got made fun of. You know who made fun of me? Kimchi. Kimchi. She's vicious. She's. Y'all don't, well, I, you probably do, you've seen her. She's so vicious, and I will say, when I was starting out in drag, she was very helpful to me. She did a wig for, she was like showing me how to do wigs. She like helped me with my eyes. Like she was super, super sweet, and I only had to pay her in Chipotle. Okay, perfect. Which, was, which I thought was great, but she doesn't let anything go. No. And so for years after I started drag and I had my nude era, she called it beige. She's like, so what beige dress are you gonna wear tonight? I stopped wearing it because of her. Because of her. I don't like to, I mean, I'm wearing brown and black right now, but I don't. You have a pattern. Pattern. I don't get wearing all beige all the time. You know what it is? As a, as a it. fair skinned person, mm -hmm. beige appears on my, thank you. You shave your arms. Yeah, for Curtis. It makes it easier to get inside. Ah. For a pale skinned person wearing like a beige, it actually looks like a color. Okay because I don't have any color. Mm -hmm. You're kind of translucent. Thank you. You're welcome. Then we had orgotic. I'm tired. I don't know what. It's not, it's giving alien, maybe, depending on what you imagine an alien is, but I agree that it kind of just looks like a Hellraiser character. Yeah, okay. I love orgotic because I don't think there's been a monster like them before, and I really enjoy how insane they are. It's mm -hmm. very, very fun for me. However, this is, I think, the third challenge they've done that does not meet the criteria of what it is. Like, mm, yeah. at all. At all. Oh, at all. Wearing the club kid boots over and over, and I just... And if I have to see them saran wrap their face, they're basically doing mask drag. Yeah. Saran wrap their face and then use pool noodles for one more look. I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, it certainly is scary. I've had a nightmare about them. I've absolutely Sexually? had a nightmare. No, 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 scary, scary. They're gonna oh. kill me. Wear my skin? Wear my skin. Although I do think funny. it was very funny. That's the thing is like, I think they saved themselves because their monologue was fucking hilarious. If you wanna fuck me, give me your skin. Okay. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Here's the other thing. I think Orgotic is throwing glass stones in a really scary house mm -hmm. because Orgotic's like, JK, your shit's not polished. Like you're just not as good as everyone else. Your stuff's not polished. But ma'am, I can see your paper mache. I can see your masking tape. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to see like, them do something besides the saran wrap face and then they can maybe start making fun of other people's work. But I will say that JK at least like their mug has been completely different every single week and, and it's so, so good. good. They're so good. You know, I watched Nina Bonina Brown's mm. and she hates JK's makeup. She hates everyone. Okay. Yeah, she's tough. They're doing the same thing over and over, which is fine, but it- Yeah, coming from me, someone who wears the exact same eye makeup every time. Every time. Wore this dress four times this month. You know what Alexis said to me last week? We were talking about maybe, maybe putting in an audition tape for a show. Mm -hmm. And she's like, yeah, we'd have to figure out a way to be able to change our makeup between our looks. And I was like, you might. <laughs> What the Baby, fuck would they're I gonna do? get blue eyeshadow what every week. What I do? I just want them to lay off just a little. That's all. Yes. It doesn't look as polished as, say, someone like Throbs. Right. So Throb looks incredible. I thought it was great. And the prolapsed butthole. It was so good. Man. The black hole. They kept going to the black hole. And it was. And it was. But I just. And to have the fake. Sorry. No, go, go, sorry go. Sorry to cut you off. The skinny one's gonna interrupt. Thank um, you. Um, the fake money. The attention to detail, even though the fucking money gun didn't work, the concept of having that made was so good. Is this the, like, this might be, though, the second or third time on a drag reality series that someone has tried to use a money gun and it is jammed. I think we need to retire the money gun. It's just not gonna work. The success rate is low. It's so low. Okay? Like a late term abortion. And how do you test that before you go on? Shoot a couple out first? Which can jam it. Don't do it. Just do, let's do classic. 
I remember the good old days. Yeah. You ever been to a strip club? Yes. I haven't. You've never been to a no. strip club? No. The one time I tried, they said I was too drunk to get in. Curtis was... I Stripping? Went, no, but he would look so good. Mm -hmm. No, Curtis was working in Michigan. He was doing a theater thing in Kalamazoo? Michigan. Kalamazoo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember the Uber killer? The Uber driver that shot a bunch of people in Kalamazoo? No. Okay, that happened. Okay. This Uber driver like killed a bunch of people. He'd pick people up and shoot them. We were literally calling an Uber in Kalamazoo at the time, but it was taking too long to get one because it's Kalamazoo. So we ended up walking to the brewery. What's the brewery there? Two brothers, two... Uh, to, I don't know. And we try to get in and it's locked. The door's locked, but there's tons of people inside. And so we're banging on the door and someone finally comes and opens it and they're like, get inside, get inside. And they lock the door and they told us there's an active shooter loose in Kalamazoo. And that's scary. That's horrifying. Anyway, but we went to a strip club, not that night. <laughs> I was so wasted. I was like, I'm gonna be like the fun, cool gay guy. I'm gonna make these women feel so appreciated. So this one girl, she came kind of close to us and I'm handing her money and I'm like, you are beautiful. What's your name? What's your story? We ended up talking for a very long time and it was horrible in the end for her and me because I didn't have any more money to give her. Mm. And then she was trauma dumping on me. Mm. Which honestly, I do kind of like. I like that when a girl tells you I do wish her well. Um, oh, wait, I'm lying. I've been to two strip clubs. One of them was Cheetah's over here. Oh, and I've been to Jumbo's Clown Room over here. I took my brother there because I thought he'd like it because it was ladies stripping. Yeah, and an 80 year old stripper kept sitting on his lap and he was like, we have to go. And then the other one I went to was when I was in Atlanta. It's in the basement of this hotel that we were staying at. Very fun hotel, can't remember it. It was when I did Fat Slut over there. And we went down there and it was all 70 year old women strippers. One of them was using her very saggy tits and like pop, like slapping them up and like hitting That's them like on juggling. the shoulder. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was That's really fun. good. It was a good time. We were throwing our money at her. One of them was too tall for the stage, so their head was touching it. Listen, you you make do, okay? Strippers make do. I went to an all male strip club. I want to do that. There's one called Boxers and Briefs on the other side of the river from St. Louis in Illinois, mm -hmm. and it's all just college, straight college guys. <laughs> Who just need a job, baby? I got the money. Who are on Viagra all night. So they're just walking around with socks over their gigantic hard cocks. And this like super hot guy came and like straddled my leg as I was sitting at the bar. And I was like, you don't, you're straight though. Like you don't like this. And mm -hmm. he was like, I think you're really cute. Like you're definitely, I was like, no, you don't. I was like, tell me your real name. And we ended up talking about, he was in college. And <laughs> Only he, you. Well, I wanted tell to me your know. real name. I wanted to know. Oh, he was in college and he was in it for um, sports science or something. Mm. He was like very yeah. muscly, huge, huge cock. And after we that. finished talking, you're only allowed to show your cock in the back room. The back room was, um, you know, have you ever been to an office and all the dividers, the gray dividers? Mm -hmm. It was that. It was cubicles. just a bunch of cubicles in this back room. And he asked if I wanted to come back. And I said, honestly, no. Like for me, sex for me. Para me. Para me. I, me. I, I, I get turned on when people are turned on by me. Yes. So if you're not interested in me, it really doesn't do a lot for me, but. Oh, actually I'm the opposite. You like it when you can get it. I like, I like whatever I get. Yeah. And you know what? The world thanks you for that. Thank you. Anyway, I th I hope you're in sports, science, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, I hope you made it. There's a club in Minneapolis called The Saloon where they do a show called The Shower Show where it's legal for people to be completely nude Hot. if they're behind a piece of glass. Yeah. So they pump the water through so the water's recycled. So by the end of the shower show, it's kind of dirty. Not great, not great. But you can slide money through a little and slot in the glass. The well, they stick it to the wall or they'll smack it with their dick to get it out. And it's so nice. There's a club in Louisville, Kentucky called Connections. And there's one room in the middle with a shower stall that's just clear glass. And it's just a dongy stripper taking a shower and he's just swinging the dong around. And it's just him taking dongy. the- Dongy. Dongy. And it's just him taking, okay, dongy. dongy. <laughs> and it's him just taking- Get out me swamp. Dollar bills and putting them on the wall. Bitch. That's a good time. I was I well, I accidentally slipped a twenty, thinking it was a ten, and he afterwards thanked me by letting me grab his penis. But that's always so uncomfortable because it's like I only really want to grab it if it's gonna get hard. Although I do love a soft one. Oh, I do too. As Post cum. That's my favorite time to be like. I don't know. I think you know what it is is because I'm so gorgeous that I never get to see him soft. Because as soon as they get a look. I'm hard right now. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Okay, Neo. Neo. <laughs> I loved. Everything about it was this. so good. The fact that they couldn't walk because it was just a breastplate around their waist. 
when they came back out for the judging and everyone came out and then Neo's just slowly walking and they played like do 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 do, 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 do music. Do. That was so funny. It was the funniest part of the whole episode. I appreciate this so much. Me There's too. so many things happening. And I didn't like the the lady judge who said maybe edit. I was like, what would you get rid of here? What about this do you want to not see? Like, you want to take away more tits? They're incredible. They're amazing. I, I did love, though, that during her little, like, speech, like, selling herself, she starts with, like, for this amount of money, you can touch my titties. For this amount of money, you can touch my testicle titties. And for this amount of money, the biggest amount, for she's 30, like, you can thousand. touch my... Hip, hip titties. titties. I was like, baby, start with the hip titties. Yeah, no, no one, one wants no. the hip titty. Well, they said you can see the front and the back with the hip titty. But I think oh. the real titty titty is up here. These should have been the most expensive. No, I would testicle, testicle titties. titties. Are you okay. kidding? Because you get two. You get a titty and you get a testicle. That's two genitals in mm. one. Are tits genitals? I think technically yes. Oh. Well, maybe not. Alexis has gorgeous genitals now. Oh yeah, but she got big old nippies like me, huh? Yeah, but she looks so good. We gotta get her those nipple Alexis suckers bevels. so that they can pop out. She's gorgeous. You know what's my favorite thing is the whenever fucking... we do any out of drag stuff and we put it on Patreon or online or whatever, everyone's always like, oh my god. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and She got her. the bangs. Bangs? I almost came in a little so brown good. bang and big glasses and was like, I'm Alexis. But I didn't. Thank you for putting in that. I actually put drag on today. Which I'm is so not my, something Alexis does my often. My eyebrows did not decide to join the chat. What do you mean? They're just weird. You know, I get nervous around you because your makeup is Why? so good and mine is always so garbage. Oh, I had a really tough time today. It was because it was so early. Well, and in my mind, I was like, because I texted you making a joke about you feeling insecure around how gorgeous I am. And it's I true. Am. And then I was like, oh, well, now I have to make her feel insecure. And then I fucked up my eyes. But you know what? I'm wearing a Lee, and I think that's doing most of the heavy it's lifting. It's doing all the heavy lifting. You know? Okay, so we find out Blackberry wins. I loved her costume so much, but my favorite thing was, you know, they'd come out, they do their walk, and then we get like the boom, boom, and they're all doing the weird, gross stuff. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that Blackberry could do was play with their tits, so every time she'd go, but and her they, speech was definitely the most well-written and performed. Right? I thought she was a robot. And I didn't like when they cut her off when she was giving her phone number. The 01011 was in zero, zero. So funny. And then they chopped it. I was like, I know she did that for like two minutes oh, straight probably. Oh, you know probably. she did. One of my favorite things of like sense of humor types is people who take things too long. Mm -hmm. I like when the audience gets mad. Me too. So we find out Fantasia and JK are in the bottom. Again. Makes no sense. Would have put Cynthia down there. Cynthia and JK makes more sense, but also I didn't think JK's performance was that bad. I will say that the jeans and the t-shirt really did. Like when I heard the big boule say, you're on Dragula and you're wearing a t-shirt and jean shorts, I was like, okay, I see that. That is a little... That is, yeah, it's not elevated. Or if they weren't even like an elevated version of it. It wasn't like a space yeah. version of t-shirt. But she also, she put in so much effort on the like mouths and her makeup and her body. And having her the mouths be all liquidy. So I'm like, you've done all that work. Like just, even just I don't know, a fucking bra made out of that, what's that material that Victoria Black uses all the time? Silicone? No, the cosplay material that she makes the like 3D. Oh, right, the warbler or whatever yes. it's called. Make a bra and panties out of that. Oh yeah, no one, and I did have to kind of agree with the boulets that no one really gave space. Like a lot of them no. are like space or they were like alien, but none of it was like elevated courtesan of the, of the outer space world. I was getting a lot of fraggle rock. No, they said that. They said uh, had a bunch of Muppets. Uh -huh. mm, that is Muppets. I forgot. So we find out the extermination is they're brought in in a metal box, which is automatically, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I don't need to feel the cold metal on my skin. Are you a claustrophobic? Yes, absolutely. What's been the worst moment where you thought you were going to die? I was trapped in the elevator at Precinct for like 45 minutes one time. Yeah, and I was alone. That was the part that got me. If someone else was in there, probably could have talked about it. Also- Did you have to pee? No, not yet. I was okay. just getting there. So I just had all my stuff with me and I was like, if I go, because I was afraid it was going to fall. But then also season one of Dragula, they put us in that little coffin and I didn't like that. Ugh. Oh and it wasn't God. a David Dasmastian coffin. God damn it, David. When I was a child, we would go down to Destin, Florida every year. That's where everyone in Memphis went mm -hmm. to vacation. We'd go to Destin, Florida. So they have a to, beach? You have to, beach? Beach? So you have to drive through Alabama to get there. And there was, right at Mobile, Alabama, there's a an old warship, like the USS Alabama or whatever the fuck, and a submarine. Mm -hmm. And so every year we would do the warship, but we never did the submarine because my mom is claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I can't. And so finally, one year, my dad's like, I want to do 
it. Like, kids come with me, mom will stay in the car. I was young, I didn't know what claustrophobic was. Bitch. You get in this submarine where there's this much space. No. And it's packed. So from the entrance to the exit, there's one person, one person, one person, you know. I'm freaking out because we're moving really slowly and I'm just like, I'm gonna die in here, I'm gonna die in here. And then a woman has a panic attack and stops the line and there's no room to go anywhere. Mm -mm. So we were just stuck. No. And thankfully we were stuck near, like they would have some of the rooms open with like a rope to show like this is the quarters or whatever. So my dad, like he saw, like we were all panicking. My dad just took the rope down. Get in and there. And was like, get the fuck in there. And I mean, without that, I would have died. Honestly. I also don't like. Yeah, I would have died. I don't like small spaces, but I also don't like big open dark spaces. Expand on that. One time when I was in Tennessee, I told my friend, we were driving in his little Mazda Miata and it was pitch black outside Mazda out in the middle Miata. of nowhere. That sounds like drugs. It, it does. And I want to do some. And we're in the middle of nowhere in the woods driving and I go, my biggest fear is like just being trapped out in the dark and not being able to see anything. Oh, and he stopped okay. the car, turned it off and got out and I couldn't see him anymore. And all the lights were off. And I was like, there's too much that can go on. And it also reminded me of a long time ago when I lived in New York, we would rehearse in an old bank vault and I would always get there first and so I would have to find the light switch. But I'd have to walk into, like go all a the way downstairs vault. in this building to a bank vault and walk in and just know that the door could swing closed. Listen, drag is not that important. Nothing is that important. It wasn't drag. drag is it was back when I was doing theater. Oh really? In yeah. a bank vault? That's where we rehearsed. We didn't do the play there. You did it on Broadway, of course. No. Oh. We did it in the East Village. Did you see Cola Scola has a new show? Yes, I know. I go. I I'm go. going. I'm when? going. Well, I haven't bought my tickets yet, but I'm going. Because when we had him on as a guest on our podcast, he kept talking Cola. about that. And we thought that they were joking. It's a show called Oh Mary, and they're playing Mary Todd Lincoln. Mary Todd Lincoln. I was talking to Curtis about it, and I was like, we have to go. So let me know when you're going, and maybe we we'll can all go. go. Yeah, that would be fun. fun. Oh yeah, we're so really then, doing a great job of talking about this episode. People are used to it. Okay. They open the thing, and then they put the cramp machine on them. Yeah, so it's supposed wasn't to... that the period cramp machine that you see on TikTok all the time? Oh, is that what it was? I, I think thought it, it was. was. Okay, because I know that it was supposed to imitate birth. Birthing. If you see on TikTok, like girls will take their boyfriends to it and like have their boyfriend feel what a period feels like. And of course, the boyfriends are always like, this sucks. That's oh, what they wow. were doing. And it, it looked painful, but I loved watching Fantasia. Oh, God, me say, too. That was so funny. After this, they're gonna have to call me Fantasia <laughs> Royale Mama! That's how she won. She was writhing. She was, I mean, I don't think it hurt her one bit. I think it, I think it moved past hurt to pleasure. Okay? JK was a fine line. so in their head the whole episode. You could see it, everyone was talking about it, that by the time it got to that, I just think that they were maybe done trying. You know, I was watching it with Curtis, which I don't recommend, and he was like, well, good. Like, JK should have gone a while ago, right? And I was like, no. No. I really thought JK was going to be the dark horse that made it to the end. Me like, too. I really wanted, and I know that's coming from a place of just, I wanted the other contestants to be like, oh, fuck, we were wrong. We never got that moment. There what? was never a moment. No. Never. And I think that full wholeheartedly the Boulets thought that the world would turn on JK. Yeah. And I think that that just did, did not. not happen. We were all like, oh, that's our favorite. I get why they thought that, because I will agree. JK He's annoying, said this but the first Brooklyn episode, annoying. Like, I'm super annoying. And I was like, yeah, you are super annoying. Name one queen from Brooklyn that isn't annoying. Julie J. What's the girl, what's the <laughs> real housewife that lived in Brooklyn? She was the ugly Ale one. Alex. Alex. The ugly real housewife. Not ugly. Not ugly, just different. Different looking European model. European model. Remember when she was a model? And she said, I'm doing this for business. Then it wasn't good. And their house was unfinished. Yeah, I loved that. Your house was more is more finished than hers was. You could be a real housewife. You think my house is unfinished? No, I said your house is more finished than hers. Do you not expect it to be? You said it like this is uh, a surprise. I, can I tell you, I came in here and texted my boyfriend immediately like, we need to start decorating the house. Yes. And he was like, maybe Darby should just right, do it for us. It's all Curtis. Is Curtis it? Curtis did everything. Okay, because it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, well, I think he's like he's getting into like a more verse kind of role, so I think it's making his you gonna design top? come out. a lot of work because my back hurts. Yeah, I have a bad back. I'm long. So we say goodbye to JK. JK gets murdered in space, right? How did yeah. he get murdered? Oh, something came out of JK's butt. Yeah, and, and it killed, killed him. him. And I, listen, I always get a little nervous when I feel something coming out of there. I'm Me like, too. I always think I got worms. Alien. Yeah. Pull it right out. That's what you're supposed to do. I've heard that. You're supposed to grab it and pull it. You're supposed to put something near your butthole so it's like... 
and then you pull it. Have you seen those videos of the bears with like the five foot long worms hanging out of their ass? Apparently it's very common that bears will get worms and then they just hang out of their butt for, and they're very long. And apparently it's been going on for forever and just National Geographic edits it around it. So you never actually see that. You know what? Cocaine bear? I want that to be the follow up. Worm butt bear. I used to be cocaine bear. And I, you know what? I'm glad you stopped. I wasn't fun when I did cocaine. It made me like mad. It made you bossy. Okay. Oh, should I not have seen No, it? it's fine. I'll edit that out. No, leave the, no, leave it in. Well, thank you everyone for watching and thank you so much Meatball for coming Thank you for having me. I had I really a wonderful time. And that you came before your meeting. I hope that this has helped and inspired your meeting. I don't know what is gonna happen. Perfect. Stunning, we're getting fried chicken. Now, have you ever had a meeting over fried chicken? No, but I love Korean fried chicken. Yeah. Thank you so much again, Meatball, for being here. And we will be back next week, hopefully with Alexis, but honestly, Who's to Who's, say? Who knows? Who's to say? Who's to know? Life happens. I like the one with Kevin because he was sweating a lot. He sweats so much. Is that a nerve thing? It got hot in here. Oh, okay. I think it was daytime. We're still, it's still morning. He's got, true, and he's got a lot of mass. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of mass. So, thank you so much, everybody. Meatball, where can they find you? You can follow me on Instagram at Spiciest Meatball. And make sure to go listen to my podcast, Sloppy Seconds. We also come out, half the episodes are on YouTube if you go to Mom. Slap you? Yeah, so you can watch our episode on YouTube. Oh, suck it. And then I think there's another like 30 minutes if you listen to the audio version of yeah. the podcast and it's all sex stories. Mm -hmm. Some of and my phone best. calls. Some yeah. Well, you're really giving it to us. Thank you so the much. The pee in the pocket. It's one of my favorite stories. I've got a lot of weird pee ones. I'll come back and tell you. Were you a piss girl? I was open. I was an open girl. You would do anything. I was like Sorry. that. I was a desperate person who said yes to everything. All right, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Did you see the video that was going around Twitter of the guy with the boner with bees on it? Yes, I did. That's terrifying. What was that? You know, people are weird. People mm -hmm. want to put anything on their penis, put their penis in weird places. But bees, and he, he, he stayed hard for the bees. Well, okay, that reminds me, did you see the one of the guy who fucked the snake? What do you mean fucked the snake? This, a snake has like a hole where the eggs come out and they put they killed it. No, it was alive. Did it oh, live? Oh, it's so gross. Did it live? Yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't cut it. I mean, the hole is there, and the guy just... It's penis-sized. Was it I think it one? stretches out. It was a big snake. It wasn't a little snake. It was a big snake. People, listen, humanity... Quit fucking animals. Well, I just feel like we, we need that. I think we're wrapping this up. I think the humanity experiment... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has proven failed, and I think we just... We're gonna go. Take it to space with Jeff Bezos. We're gonna go. I did write down something. Have you seen on TikTok? Sorry. I, I write down little like things because Alexis oh, I and I- I didn't think of anything to talk about. Well, that's the problem. It's like Alexis and I will do a credits chat and then neither of us have anything to talk about. And then you just sit and go, oh. Mm. Well, it's the thing, because don't you feel like you just get it all out and then eventually you're just like telling the same thing over and over and over again? Oh, I'm told when I repeat things. They oh. let me know, they let me know. They let me know too on the I podcast. And I'm it. like, I'm sorry, we just did 400 episodes. What am I supposed to talk about for 400 hours? I gotta say. Congrats on the success of your stupid fucking show. It's so stupid. Isn't that crazy? You. Yeah, I just, I think people really put it on to just like zone out. Like, I don't think people actually listen. My favorite, I own, I gotta admit, I only listen to the episodes that are just you and Dipper. Yeah, I just, a lot of people do they're, that. They're funny. I just like to listen. I, I really enjoy seeing Dipper kind of dig a hole. You continue to shine light on that hole and say, no, further explain what you meant. Yeah. I, like I need more of that. Sorry. That's what were you talking? What did you see on oh, TikTok? Oh, have you seen the TikTok trend of girls asking their boyfriends or husbands to name a woman? Yeah. What? Why can they not name a woman? And they're name like, name a woman. Me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did? I, I, the reason I stopped is because I'm just naming all the women that I've seen the videos for, and I don't mm. want to repeat a woman because mm. the first thing I thought was Connie Chung, which is like really that is weird. so out there. But that was a that was a real one. Like mm. people are. So basically they're trying to say like, if you're not saying your girlfriend's name, then like you have a problem, which like. Oh, that's weird. Oh God. Oh, God. Like your girlfriend's not a woman. Your girlfriend's. It's your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. She's a sex object. Thank you. She's a whole. She's a whole. Uh, I asked, him. so I did ask Curtis. I was like, I wanna see what he says. And I was like, name a woman. And he goes, Candace Cameron. I was like, first of all. Candace Cameron Beret. Candace Cameron 
beret. He should know he's wearing one. Secondly, he literally is wearing one right now. I'm sorry to all the French. Secondly, she hates us. She hates the French. Why did you name Why someone? Why straight to her? Was he know. watching Christmas movies? Isn't she like a Christmas movie? And you know what it was? Is we were watching SNL that Candace Bergen was mm. on. And he's like, I almost said Candace Bergen, but I couldn't remember who that was. So I switched to Cameron last minute. And I said, well, you made a mistake. Yeah. You made a mistake. Name a woman. Oprah. I always go Oprah. Mm. Also, I have you seen the ones where they're like, name a white man. Oh. And everyone's like, uh, uh, huh. Joe Biden? Uh. Uh. Who are you voting for? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you know what? I'm voting for humanity. To end. Yes. I'd be fine if it went. I literally told myself when I was 35 I was probably going to be dead anyway. Okay. Thank you for bringing that up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's why I ride a motorcycle. That's why I live life you to the fullest. You do ride a motorcycle. I'm ready to go. I don't care. What else is there? Are you... Oh, my God. That's so sad. Being of ready to go, are you going to that party tonight? I think I will. You should go. I have a couple things I got to do today, but I can swing by. We're going to force Alexis to go to get her out of the house. Mm -hmm. She needs to be out and around people. So we'll be there. And Dipper will be there, but don't let that stop you. I just saw him last night. And funny story, I was talking to someone who had waited on both of us separately in um, San Francisco. Okay. And they moved here and they were like, I was talking to them and they're like, oh yeah, you were so nice when you came into the store and you kept coming in and you remembered my name. And I was like, yes, I do remember all of that. And then he was like, Dipper wasn't so nice. And I was like, oh. <gasps> What happened? And he goes, I don't know. He was like curt with me when he ordered his food. And then when I went and brought him his food, I was like, here you go. Have a nice day. He just looked up from his computer. I went, thanks. And went back to his computer. And I was like, I think that might be Dipper's version of being nice. I could see that from him. But also recently Dipper went to a pool party and the guys in the hot tub were talking about how mean he was. But they didn't realize he could hear because they couldn't hear over the bubbles. You know, so they were talking loud enough to get over the bubble, but he was out of the bubbles. I'm and you heard them be like, that guy's so mean. I'm trying to think, have I encountered, I guess I have, yeah, I can see that. I don't think he's mean. No, I just no, think I he's think like he's... one track minded. Yeah, he's focused. Listen, once you get to our age, you have to, you have to pick a track and stay on it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're mean. Look at us. You end us? up like this. Listen, I've got my shit together. I've got a townhouse. You have a townhouse. I've got a town home. Three stories, y'all. All right, we're gonna go up to the roof and make sure it's still there. I gotta Bye. get my laundry. Bye.